It's story time. Welcome to Ridzi with Kidzi. I am Ridzi and this is my friend Kidzi who loves to read along with you. Today I'm going to tell you a story about Thomas breaks a promise illustrated by Richard Courtney. The seasons were changing on the islands of Sador. The leaves had begun to change color and the air was growing crisp. Thomas the tank engine was feeling restless. Summer is almost over and I haven't had any real fun, he complained. You're a fussy little engine, replied Jordan. We are not here to have fun. We are here to walk. Well, that didn't make Thomas feel any better. I would rather be fussy and fun than bossy and boring, he retorted. The next morning, Sir Tupam had called the engines together. We are opening a new branch line tomorrow, he told them. I need one of you to check the signals on the new line to see that they are all working properly. Who will volunteer? I will, Thomas piped up. I promise to check very carefully. Checking signals wasn't much fun, but it was better than being bossed around in the train yard. Off you go then, Sir Topam had said. And be sure to check every signal, Thomas. Safety is our first concern. Something about shiny tracks always put Thomas in a good mood. He whistled merrily as he rolled along the new branch line. Checking signals is really useful, he thought. Safety is our first concern. Each time he saw a signal, Thomas made sure that the arm was in the right position. He also checked to see that the signal lamp was working so that it could be seen at night. If the signal arm was down and the lamp was red, that meant the danger on the tracks ahead. There were hidden junctions, hanging rocks, dangerous curves and steep hills. Thomas had almost reached the end of the new branch line when he saw the sign of a carnival. There was nothing Thomas loved more than a carnival. Oh, how he would love to go. If I hurry to the carnival now, I can check the rest of the signals later, he told himself. And with that, Thomas turned off and headed into the countryside. The carnival was splendid. There were games and rides and cotton candy. And there were lots of children. Look, it's Thomas, they cried and ran to greet their favorite blue engine. When Thomas got back to the train yard, Sir Tupam Hat was waiting. You've been gone a long time, Thomas, he said. You must have done a very thorough job of checking the signals on the new branch line. Yes, sir, peeped Thomas. But suddenly he realized that he'd forgotten to go back and finish the job. He had broken his promise. But how could he tell that to Sir Topam Hat? Good! Sir Topam Hat beamed. Then everybody is ready for tomorrow's grand opening. That night, Percy was being loaded for his mail run when a call came into the station. Rain had washed out a section of track on the mail route. Percy would have to find a way around. Don't worry, Percy, Sir Topam Hutt smiled. You can take the new branch line. Off Percy went, pulling two big cars loaded with mail. The rain fell heavily. Each time Percy saw a red signal lamp, he slowed carefully until he passed the dangerous spot. Then suddenly, in the dark, Percy passed another signal. The lamp was not lit, so he didn't see until too late. The arm was down. For danger! Percy slammed on his brakes, but the rain made the tracks slippery. And there it was ahead, a dangerous curve. 
Oh no! cried Percy. He closed his eyes and did his best to hold on through the turn. One of the mail cars flew off the tracks and was smashed into bits. Percy shivered with fear from his close call. The next morning, Thomas awoke and sneaked out of his shed. Then he saw Percy returning with Sir Topham Hutt. Percy had a terrible fright, Sir Topham Hutt said sternly. He almost derailed because of a signal lamp that didn't work. How could such a thing have happened, Thomas? Oh, sir, I'm so sorry, sir, Thomas sputtered. And it all came rushing out about the carnival and the children and about how he'd forgotten to go back and finish the job. I'm sorry, I broke my promise, sir, said Thomas sheepishly. I just wanted to be the part of the fun. And then I forgot. There will be no fun for you for quite some time, Sir Tupam had scolded. Percy will run your branch line until you've gone and checked every signal on my railway. Twice! And now, every time Thomas passes a signal, he checks it twice. Just to be safe. Jordan likes to tease him. Fussy little Thomas! Certainly is fussy about signals. Says Thomas, Safety is our first concern. Hi again. I hope you liked the story. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a bunch. Bye.